Hey there guys, I uh, just got a uh, fun fishing day video for you. Uh, as you've been watching my last videos, I've kind of been going after the big game species like the tarpon, the sharks, and barracudas, um, which are fun, but you kind of have to mix things up every once in a while, otherwise it gets kind of mundane. So I uh, wanted just to throw in a nice day, fun day fishing video instead of a normal windy day and last ditch effort type of day. Um, Basically, the plan of attack for today is I'm going to bring out my new 3 16 inch mesh, uh, 6 foot radius, 12 foot diameter cast net. I uh, just picked this up a couple months ago. I've been using it, just haven't put it on film. Uh, primarily what this net is specifically for is uh, glass minnows. They're the little, um, tiny, you'll see tiny schools of them. They're a couple inches and smaller. Um, tend to cover big areas like there, but they're, if you're ever throwing a cast net at them and you just throw it over them, but you, they just nothing comes out of them, that's probably the glass minnows. Uh, too small to catch on hook and line, um, not any other real way to, to get them. And since they're so small, you don't want to just get like 12 or something like that. You need to have a bunch of them. And uh, what I'm going to do is try to catch up a bunch of them, throw them in my cooler, and then uh, use those basically as chum. Instead of my big frozen block, um, I'll use those and just kind of scatter them out and then try to get the fish feeding. And then uh, I've got my scaled down tackle today. I've got my light spinning rod, my light bait caster. And I'm just going to shore up along uh, some deep cuts in the mangroves and uh, anchor up and pre-feed them, get them feeding, and then drop a, a bait inside there and hook up and see what kind of stuff I can uh, pull out of there. So otherwise, uh, check it out. Thanks. against one of the uh, mango cut mangrove cuts here and start chumming out some and then after a little bit get their uh, their appetite going and then I'll start throwing some uh, baited ones out so I got a lot of them um, stuck in the gildum in the net so I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my initial chum and even though I'm making a lot of noise it won't matter because they're gonna associate uh, all this splattering with the uh, food coming by and they're not going to mind it once they start eating. All these pieces kind of floating around there. You can already see them coming. snappers coming after them. I'm going to start off with just a bear hook and a little number two bait, live bait hook. And just put a couple of them on there like that. Throw a couple pieces out there. over so it kind of floats all together
One's got it. Set the hook. That's how you do it. Okay, we'll do it again. Just grab a couple of them. Throw them out there. Got my two of them on a the hook. And drop it down. One's got it. Uh, and I got a mighty blue runner. So with this, you're just not gonna know what you're gonna catch. So this is my kingfish bait. Little blue runner, kingfish, shark, grouper. Now to target the bigger fish, like the ones on the surface are a lot of the juveniles and they're the ones that are real aggressive and these are small baits so they're gonna go after it right away. So for the larger ones, still the same thing but I'm gonna put it on a knocker rig. So I've got the, the hook with a sliding egg sinker so I'll get them past those juveniles straight to the bottom and then uh, hopefully the larger fish will pick it up. But with this kind of soft bait, everything eats it, kind of like squid or shrimp. So it's just a matter of hopefully it gets down fast enough that a big one will get it. So I'm gonna throw out a couple patches there. Just let them uh, drift down with the current kind of which direction that it's heading and then drop that straight down until it hits the bottom give it a little bit of slack so they have a little bit of running room and just watch the line once it starts getting tight and starts moving 